All right, and we are live. Hello, everybody out there on Twitch. Happy, is it Monday? It is Monday. It is Monday, and uh, we are coming to you live, DevCycle's West Coast team here at CDCon and GitOpsCon here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, Chris, how, how has the day been, been for you so far? It's been good so far. I just wanted to first of all shout out West Coast, Best Coast. Uh, all, all our folks who might be watching this live here or the VOD, you know what's up. Um, we're having a beautiful day here in Vancouver. Uh, it doesn't feel like a Monday. I think usually it's, it's exciting when you get to start off the week at a conference, kind of like fresh off the weekend. You got some of the energy from the weekend, the conversations we've been having here, the keynote speakers, the panels, just some of the you know, serendipitous conversations in the hallways. It's everything you love about a, a conference. Yeah, I love it. So I'm going to do a little bit of like tech check in to make sure our audio and everything's working. But while we do that, Chris, um, so obviously uh, I'm Andrew, by the way, um, <laughs> this is Chris. Um, so Chris, this is your DevCycle Twitch debut. So yes. do you want to tell our, our lovely audience a little bit about yourself um, while I do kind of an audio check? Yeah, working? absolutely. So my name's Chris. I've been with DevCycle for about two years now. Formally, I serve uh, as an account executive uh, on the team. So really about creating, starting some of those conversations uh, and walking through companies that are interested in exploring DevCycle uh, from the beginning to the end and helping them find the right solution uh, and understanding where we can bring value to their teams. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to sort of start going more to these live converse, uh, live conferences and just meeting people like really in the field um, that are, are building incredible software, um, working on creating the best developer experience for their teams. Um, and this is like a, a general theme we've heard today uh, at the CDCon and GitOpsCon. And it's just been fantastic to be around you know, like-minded folks. I love it. So uh, if uh, if you haven't caught uh, where we're coming to you live from, uh, you might be catching some of it in the background here. Um, so we're actually kind of at the preamble to the open source summit for North America mm -hmm. put on by the Linux Foundation. Um, and uh, yeah, so so the first kind of two days uh, here, there's a lot of different summits happening, but the CD con, so um, continuous delivery uh, con and GitOps con are happening here right now. And so we just have finished, literally just walked out of our final session on day one. And we thought, well, we've got a computer, we've got a live stream, we should jump on and kind of tell some folks about it and some things we heard and and uh, yeah, just kind of share, share kind of some of our learnings. Um, so, so Chris, I arrived a little bit later than you mm -hmm. did, so you got a chance to catch kind of the opening keynotes. Yes. Um, so, yeah, like how, like what, what was kind of the, so there was, I think, three, three opening There's keynotes. There's three opening keynotes. Uh, a lot of it was really talking about the state of the union, right? Where is the state of continuous delivery and continue, and it's not just CD, it's really the entire like CI, CD pipelines for companies and how, how companies in different uh, people are along in their journey of moving towards continuous delivery and you know, the steps they're taking towards that, uh, what those transitions have been like, and also about GitOps. Um, there was one particular keynote that I, I found really interesting, which is they did it in a sort of like myth buster style of um, trying to figure out what are the myths surrounding DevOps and GitOps. Um, and it, it's been something that I've been curious about. like. We, we, I learned a lot about DevOps in, you know, working with DevCycle and I've read like the DevOps handbook, but GitOps was a relatively new term to me and like understanding what some of those differences are um, was really um, an educational piece for me uh, personally. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of popped in uh, just at the end of that talk, but I was happy. Like I got in for the one, the one keynote that I was really, really excited about, which was the, the graduated projects, mm. this conversation on Flux and Argo, which are two really cool open source projects that arguably I don't know enough about. Um, but Jenkins was involved in there too. And uh, what was the, oh, and Tecton. Um, so three of those I'd never heard of. Jenkins I have, um, but definitely um, made me want to go and learn more and sort of that whole cycle of building a really interesting sort of CI GitOps focused or CD GitOps focused tooling, open source tool within your 
company um, and then creating that in a way that it's that it's able to go out into the world and still bring in business value for the parent company that created it yep. um, but also without having that that sort of requirement that it's necessarily producing revenue um, right, right away so uh, yeah I was and that was great because there was four there was four different different folks that were really in kind of the DevRel and engineering and community spaces that were there. Um, so it was really exciting and it was like a great way to start the day today, yep. I definitely think. Um, and then we kind of split off for like for the next one, didn't we? We split yeah. off. So what did you go to for sort of the, the next session after that first one? Yeah. So I was kind of like looked at all the different topics over there. I ended up sneaking into the uh, Fidelity one where they were talking about the software delivery platform at Fidelity. Now, me personally, not working with code day in, day out, a lot of the sort of more technical aspects of that panel did go over my head. But I think what's really good is hearing some of the questions and also just seeing the atmosphere and like the how engaged people were in these platforms and learning like these ideas of DevOps and GitOps isn't limited to sort of just the newer, smaller companies, startups that have that agility, even for um, you know, enterprise scale companies like Fidelity, they are all, they are still also pushing the boundaries. They're looking for ways to innovate um, and understanding the way that they are building their software delivery pipeline um, and, the, and, the, and how engaged people are with learning about this um, to bring to their own companies was um, valuable in itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. I got a chance to go to DevOps days in Los Angeles earlier this year, and it was great to see the energy there. And it was one of the first conferences I'd been to in, in sort of like six months and mm -hmm. the energy was really good. And it's been so great being here and kind of seeing the energy and having those conversations with like within those sessions, but also outside of those sessions as well. So mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I have connected with some pretty cool people just yeah. like having little side conversations. Um, we met some really awesome people from, was it Zscaler? Zscaler, we met some awesome folks there. Yeah, um, and uh, and if you're watching this from Zscaler, I'm sorry that we couldn't make your session. We had an awesome session that we really wanted to make sure that we didn't miss, um, but uh, but we were there in spirit. So, uh, so but shout out to Zscaler, because uh, we had an awesome conversation. They're doing some, some pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Who else did we have a have a chance to chat with? Uh, it's one of the uh, sponsors here, Firefly. Um, they're doing some really cool stuff as well. And Puppet, we had a really good conversation with Puppet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also the the folks at WeaveWorks, um, the lady there, Tamao, she was actually one of the she is actually one of the co-founders for DevRelCon. Yeah. And so we had a fantastic conversation. She has such an interesting like history and background, and we shared a lot of similarities in the way that we our, our career started and then we kind of found ourselves in like looking for uh, a position or a career where we had more of that social interaction and being able to talk to developers and kind of share the joy of the work that we're doing so that was a very cool conversation that we had yeah um and i think we're and it's just the beginning of that conversation i'm, I'm sure we're going to chat with them more in the future here about yeah. you know devrel in general yeah for sure um and i will say it was really awesome to go and check out some of the cool swag this at this conference so like a really great fidget spinner oh. that i got from uh puppet which was really awesome um that was super fun i've got this one shirt that i found or like they they is it this one might have been this one I'm trying to see if it's this one. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Like, it's just got, it says, not afraid to commit. Yeah, just and I mean, like, from, like, a technical standpoint, yeah, that makes sense. But you could wear this anywhere. I mean, come, like, you shouldn't be afraid to commit. You should feel proud and, and empowered <laughs> to commit. Um, not just code. Um, I mean, a little bit about dev cycle with, 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 with feature flags. You don't have to be afraid to commit because your, your code is safe behind a feature flag. Um, but I mean, this is not limited to just technology. Um, yeah. Anything, yeah. right? Well, I think that's so. Maybe this is a spot to stop because we're talking about this conference. But obviously, DevCycle feature flag management platform. Um, if you've never heard of DevCycle before and you've just happened upon our stream, um, if you are building software and you're looking to do it in a way that is um, allowing you to release features on a continuous basis and to really sort of separate out the deployment and feature release process, um, put in sort of like a, um, a fail safe into new features that you 
you're releasing um, and just kind of speed up your your process of, of, uh, of building your your new features into your platform definitely check out DevCycle um, because yeah we're doing some very cool stuff um, really focusing on uh, supporting our awesome developers that are using our platform and making their lives a lot easier so um, definitely go and check out some of the awesome stuff that is uh, that is going on over on the DevCycle Discord um, and uh, yeah just yeah, check it out devcycle.com yeah one thing i'll point to say if you missed our just behind us the slide just now like this con this conference is part of a, a group of a lot of like co-located conferences but the sort of the big one that's happening later this week is that open source conference and when i first came today i was tr trying to understand like how does devops and GitOps, or like how does cdcon and GitOpsCon relate to open source um summit and after coming here today obviously a lot of tools in the space are open source tools, but kind of really hearing from other developers how they've been able to leverage this idea of open source, how they've been able to build these developer communities and uh, these companies that started creating some of these projects that are originally open source, like Flux, um, like Jenkins, like, like Harness is here as well. There's a lot of these different companies that have these open source projects um, and the way that they've been able to build that community, build uh, the, the language and just like the excitement around what they're doing and find like-minded individuals to contribute and um you know what started originally for example GitOps actually was created uh from the lady we had spoken her ceo just um we we're, were talking about this idea of GitOps, and within two months became like a buzzword in the community you know and a couple years down the road we have GitOps con um but it started with this idea of having an open source project and then building a community from there uh, it, it was just eye-opening to kind of like learn more about this entire world of, of open source technology um, and also understanding that with DevCycle, we, we have open source components within DevCycle as well. And so like being able to learn how we can further um, impact our um, users are, that are using DevCycle and from that open source standpoint was also eye-opening as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, all right. So next up, uh, I checked out a session that was really cool called, um, yeah, it's a, it was a long title, but it was another panel discussion. It was called The Nuances of Influencing Developer Experience and Productivity Through Tech Products, which was basically a long way to say sort of when you're looking at developer productivity and looking at platforms that can measure that and metrics and tools, like what does that, what does that process really look like? Um, yeah, it was very interesting. Definitely, uh, it was one of these talks that I'm always interested in sort of what is changing in the world of how do you add data around the software that you're building, um, but not just from uh, the use of the software, but actually from the folks that are building it as well. So that was definitely a very um, interesting. And, and again, I'm, I'm not working on a on a development team kind of day to day, very similar to you, uh, Chris, but but it was definitely good to kind of see some stuff that uh, that we've talked about a lot before at DevCycle. So I know Nick, uh, our, our VP engineering, uh, recently did a talk on Dora metrics. Um, and so Dora metrics has come up a number of times here. Um, so definitely, if you're interested in checking out that talk, um, head over to the DevCycle YouTube channel, um, which uh, I will link in chat, or you can just find, just head to the DevCycle, um, head to the DevCycle YouTube page, um, and you can find that there. It's a really good talk from one of our APIs and IPAs events, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was that was a really good session. Did you did you go to a session, or did you end up connecting with some? No, I was connecting with folks out here afterwards, and I think the next session I attended was one we were just at now with uh, talking about the developer outreach to DevRel. Yes, and that yes. was a really good session Yeah, too. so that was definitely, I think my, uh, that was definitely one of my favorite talks of the conference so far. I think obviously, cause it hits very close to home. Um, and this conversation around like, what should developer relations, developer advocacy programs look like? How can you structure them? What's the experience? And it was uh, the, 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 the presenter was a developer relations manager for auto desk mm -hmm. it's obviously a really big product that i love um they do some really cool things in terms of like engaging um engaging audiences of different ages and different stages and so i think that was that was definitely the most tangible talk that i am very interested in in taking a look at those slides and i'll definitely be retweeting those slides on um, my 
Twitter um, and DevCycle's Twitter uh, once we have access to those later um, for those that are interested in checking those out. Um, what was your kind of big takeaway from that talk? Like, yeah, so my biggest takeaway was when she had shared when sourcing feedback, the developer feedback isn't just Dora metrics. And she was very like adamant. She had like actually two slides repeating that there is a difference in measuring Dora metrics. Dora metrics are, you know, very important in understanding the performance of the engineering team with your, you know, lead time to um, your deployment frequency, your mean time to recovery. But that doesn't answer the full question of what the developer experience is. You got to look at the bug reports. You got to look at the actual developer feedback. What are they saying about their day to day development work that isn't measured just by KPIs and OKRs about how fast they're deploying? Because there are pieces of that that are not measured just by those metrics. And so I think that's a very important piece because a lot of the times when you know, we're talking about how can we improve our you know, developer experience? How do we quantify this? Typically, it's like we go to a framework that's sort of been accepted by a lot of companies. So yeah. it's like Dora metrics, fantastic. You know, we got these four, we get, we increase all of those and our engineering team's happy. Not really. It means your engineering team's doing the job well, but it doesn't answer the full question of how the developer experience, what are their, you know, what are their, what are they stressed out about that's not being answered by some of these metrics. So that was a big takeaway for me and and understanding that. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. I feel like um, there's so many of these, uh, there's, I love these conferences because there's such a broad cross section of talks. We've got everything from like these deep technical talks that are exploring um, like talks like Terraform, which is obviously really big in this space. Um, uh, and if you're interested in in how DevCycle works with Terraform, uh, check out our our, uh, our docs. Um, but uh, but there's those really technical and these really tangible across kind of all levels mm -hmm. within within this world of GitOps and DevOps and. Um, yeah, it was definitely, it was such a nice day of being able to check out all these things and then just connect with people um, and hopefully have some further conversations yep. later and, and sort of looking at building some more of those partnerships and finding out really what is happening in, in this space kind of at a more global scale. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people that I've met today from the UK that are here. Yeah, surprisingly, um, uh, there was a lot of international folks here that had traveled um, for this conference. So it was good to, to kind of see there was people from Scotland, people from London. Yeah. Yeah. So, so obviously we're day one, end of day one, um, well, almost the end of day one. Um, but, uh, we're about to move on to day two of CDCon, GitOpsCon, um, here in Vancouver. Um, and so I gotta say like tomorrow, my, my, like the thing I am most excited about, uh, is, um, uh, uh, talk uh, one of the keynotes in 915 on mm -hmm. developer empathy about mm -hmm. building open source communities with developer empathy um it's by kunal kushwaha who's the developer relations manager for sivo and the founder of we make devs he's a really great guy but i haven't done some work with him in the past and so i'm super excited to see him speak i've never actually seen him speak um so that's definitely one of the things and then there's actually a keynote right after that um on the survival guide to being a junior engineer which i think is going to be really interesting uh just because like i feel so very much i think we all have that like sort of an uh um imposter syndrome but i definitely mm. feel like i still need some of these tips around how to be a good junior engineer um yeah what about you is there any any kind of talks tomorrow that you're really excited about yeah like after talking with the the folks at weaveworks today and i've i'm not an engineer myself so i don't i'm not too familiar with this uh, with the, the Flux platform, but after hearing what they've said, I really want to know more about it because it seems to be something that is well known within the world of engineering. So I'd love to understand more because the more that I'm able to learn about this, the more that I can relate to the, you know, the conversations and the people that I'm talking with on a day-to-day -day basis. So they've got a platform or they've got a panel at 2.10 tomorrow. Uh, it's called Flux at the Point of Change using the Kubernetes Golang SDK and the Flux API to automatically, you know, do stuff. Um, so I'm excited for that one. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. And it sounds, it seems I've been following some of the social media chatter and it seems like these might be streamed somehow, or there might be availability of mm. these later. So if you're not here at the conference, uh, then, uh, then you might be able to check them out later. Um, but, uh, if you are here at the conference, if you are literally here and right now you've decided I'm going to go on my cell phone or my laptop and watch a live stream of people that are just around the corner, please come and say hi to, uh, to Chris and I, we are here. We'd love to say hello to you 
um, today or tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow at this point, um, because it is, uh, we're hitting around 5.30 uh, Pacific and I think it's like 8.30 on the East Coast right now. So um, so we're, we're almost at the end of the day here. But then Chris, you're also sticking around or coming for a little while later in the week for what? So yeah, so we're gonna be. Here. I'm gonna be here for the uh, open source summit that starts like right there uh, from Wednesday to Friday. Sort of the larger, more um, I guess generic that kind of talks about everything open source. Um, and supposedly the turnout for that is gonna be ten times the amount of people that are here at this kind of co-located GitOps and, and CDCon. Um, and so I'm excited to be here on that day as more folks come in for the rest of the week and um, really learn more about the entire open source ecosystem. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. I'm sad that I'm not able to do that. I got to head back over to the island. Um, but uh, but it's been so great to kind of be here today and to meet some people and to, to meet you for the this is our first time. This is the first time Chris and I, despite being on the West Coast, West Coast is a big place. Um, so we're meeting for the first time too. Um, and I'm excited to be here with all of you at this conference and kind of talking to you and telling you. And I think tomorrow we're going to try potentially to do this again and kind of give you an update on day two and kind of the, the final learnings from what the conference looked like another kind of short stream like this and if you don't catch it live you can catch the vod later on um but uh yeah yeah so um so i guess before so we're, we're almost at at our, our kind of half hour mark which is what we were looking to kind of aim for here um but uh if you are just kind of catching the stream or or you're catching the vod and, and you're looking to find out more information about devcycle um you can head over to devcycle.com um and you can check out the platform it's free to try so you can sign up for an account um, today and try out the platform. Um, we have example apps. Um, our documentation is awesome. Um, so check that out. You can walk through there. Um, if you've got questions once you're going through our documentation, our Discord community is, is, is alive and thriving and we'd love to chat with you over there. Our entire team basically um, is on Discord. So you can literally, I think you can literally message Chris and I over there um, and ask us questions. And then of course, um, we're here on Twitch and we're on YouTube and, uh, and we're on Twitter as well. So you can come and find us over there. Um, um, and obviously on GitHub as well, because we've got some really awesome open source repositories um, that are always looking for contributions. And uh, if you'd like to check those out, yeah, please check out um, all of our platforms. I think almost all of them are, uh, are at DevCycleHQ. So um, you should be able to find us there, except for um, our website, which is um, devcycle.com, and then our docs, which are docs.devcycle.com. Yep. Um, and uh, if you're catching the VOD later, um, I will try and share all of that information in some sort of a description um, that you can check out. But but just go to Google, look up DevCycle, and uh, you should be able to find us there. So uh, before we go, um, Chris, final thoughts on day one of CDCon, GitOpsCon, 2023 Vancouver. What do you think? Uh, my final thoughts is that if you're not here and you work uh, in a space where you your team is trying to make strides in moving towards continuous delivery or you've been looking to move towards GitOps, this is a fantastic place to sort of really get that thought leadership um, and hear what the, some of these companies that have been at the forefront of this space are doing. Um, and really, it's, it's what I've seen more than anything is that it's a very close knit community. Everyone seems to know one another. Um, and so if you are in the space, this is a fantastic place to build those networks and to, to meet these people. Um, and you never know what you can learn from uh, the folks that are really pushing the boundaries here. Yeah, absolutely. And and just a final note, um, uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about what's going on here, I think if you uh, go to the Linux Foundation website, you can find all the information on all of the events that they're running all over the place. We're going to be back uh, at some other um, conferences and events this year. Um, so definitely be sure to, to come and join us when, uh, when you're here. We have lots of awesome swag uh, and uh, we'd love to give you said awesome swag. Yes, we are rocking all of the swag. I've got like a t-shirt. Chris has got the lot. We're all of the swag. <laughs> Come and get your swag. Um, it, we're here for you. Um, but uh, before we let you go, thank you all so much for uh, tuning in to our kind of um, dev cycle live from CDCon, GitOpsCon here on Twitch today. Um, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time here on Twitch. Yeah, also I'm most active on LinkedIn. So just search Chris Chang DevCycle, you'll find me. Please add me on LinkedIn. I'm always looking to connect with people and folks on there.
Awesome. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Bye, and everybody. Uh, we'll chat to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.